Well, good evening, everyone. Thank you very much for taking the time out to spend with me this evening. I hope that I can inspire you with the journey I've had over the past few years. And the reason I'm sharing this with you is not just to tell you my story, because everybody in life has a story to tell, and each one is very, very special. I'm just hoping that my story will inspire you to take stock of where you are right now in your journey through life and see if where you are is where you wish to be, which is happy and motivated, successful, enjoying every day, reaching your full potential every day, and bringing joy to yourself and those people around you, especially the ones you love most. My reason for sharing this is either to help you in your own journey, or you may know someone special to you who could do with some help and understanding. I hope that this will give you an understanding of how our thinking affects our outcome. And we can either do great things when we think great things, or we can literally disable ourselves by our thinking. You are what you think. If you think you're great, then you are great. If you think you're not, then you're not. If you think you can, you will. And if you think you can't, well then you're right. We can literally enable ourselves or disable ourselves by our thinking. When I started my heart art journey, I had no idea that the outcome I would receive and reach would be beyond my expectations. In fact, I didn't know what to expect. I just was just drawn to do it. And I was really drawn to the meditation side of it. The fact that there was art involved was a real bonus because I love painting anyway. But remember, you do not have to be able to paint in order to do heart art. In fact, it's probably better if you never had a paintbrush before. Because heart art is really about the process of what it can bring out for you. It is not about the product. So just a little bit about myself before I go straight into it. I'm a wife and mother and grandmother to two beautiful young granddaughters, Amy and Keelan. And I'm very happily married to Damon for the past 36 years. I worked when the children were smaller for Weight Watchers. I lectured with them for five years. And at that point then, I went on and became a fitness instructor and studied at Limerick University. So I was always very fit and very much into taking care of my body. And that's really what I wanted to do, was to really take care of myself. I think when you feel good, it's really important. And from 1990 then on, I studied complementary therapy, such as reflexology. I went on then to do Reiki, kinesiology, which really is still a wonderful tool that I use today. I use all of them today. I studied neurolinguistic programming with Richard Bandler and Paul McKenna and Michael Breen over in the UK. And then I also studied in the UK to become a brain gym consultant and instructor. And then life coaching came into the, the fore as well. So all of those helped me to start my own business in 1997. So what I would like to cover tonight is what is heart art, the power of it, and just a portion of my journey, just a small portion. Okay, and then me in action during painting, just a few slides of me doing a few bits and pieces. And the workshop paintings that I have come away with from the workshops I attended, I'll just explain a little bit about them and what they mean. And a few paintings I did at home in between my workshops. And how heart art helped me to make changes. And it helped me to restore this harmonious balance within my day. So it's really, really important um, that we get a balance every day. Sometimes we're so busy as mothers and wives and you know, um, we do so much, and sometimes we don't take enough time for ourselves just to see where are we at, because really we are at the helm when you are in the house and taking care of the family. And what I found was I 
wasn't taking care of myself. I was putting everybody else first, which is not a good thing to do. So going back to pain, have you ever had pain in your life? We all have at some stage. It can be physical. It could be emotional pain. It can be mental pain. All of that adds up. And when you look at where does pain come from, it can come from relationships, relationships you are in with your partner. We could have pain in relationships and families with our parents, grandparents, siblings. Pain is everywhere, really. We can have relationships, you know, painful relationships with our children. And also with, within business, you know, business, business partners and people we work with. So pain really is, can be anywhere. So just ask yourself this question. Are you struggling with your own relationship within yourself? Because that's the first point of a relationship, is you need to have a good relationship with yourself before you can have a good relationship with anybody else. And I think that was the bit that was missing in my life. I was thinking about everybody else and not thinking about myself. And it's not to be selfish, but I think it's we need to fulfill ourselves first, and therefore we can be better um, for our, our own selves and also for those people around us. So it's really very important that we take care of ourselves. Maybe, you know, ask yourself, are you feeling good enough? Or sometimes you're not feeling good enough. You know, lacking self-esteem, your self-esteem really low, or self-image is quite low. All of this is really painful to ourselves. And again, as I said, we can disable ourselves by our thinking. So it's really important because we can also allow ourselves to be disabled by other people's opinions and views. And that's a very big one in Irish society too, that we take too much stock of what other people think. And uh, we need to be strong within ourselves and have our own convictions and our own morals. And it doesn't matter what somebody else thinks. It's what you know to be true is the most important thing for you. Do you often struggle to express your emotions? And do you realize how damaging this can be to your health, both your physical health and your spiritual health? So would you be interested if I could show you a private and constructive and a hugely therapeutic way you can release that buildup of tension, tension and feel incredible after it? And for me, this is what heart art has done for me. It has given me the vehicle to express myself so that a healing can take place within my body. And I'm so grateful for it. So if you could separate yourself from the pain, whether it be physical or whatever type of pain that you're in, whether it's a sadness that you're holding in your body for whatever reason, an unhappiness, your lack of motivation, separate yourself from not being good enough or not feeling good enough, separate yourself from your low self-esteem, and separate ourselves from all negativity. You know, how would that make you feel? That would be so powerful, really, really powerful. So just to give you a bit of background on my journey, when my challenge started, I call it my university of life because that's where I learned a lot about myself back in 2000, when I found myself in a situation of being laid up for about four months in bed and my family were taking care of me and that's when I really realized it was more important for me to take care of me but I'd let my physical body go to a stage where I was no longer able to take care of myself I had had a problem with my back and I found walking a challenge I found standing a challenge and also sitting the only relief I could get was lying down in bed so that's where I spent my university of life challenge back in 2000 and it was very, very painful, but I felt I used the time wisely because I did educate myself on what do I need to look at, what do I need to see, what do I need to do in order to get myself out of this situation. Um, eventually, you know, I did learn a lot about myself. I actually learned just how to be. And for me, that was a big thing because I was always doing, 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 busy, busy, busy. And I found it very hard just to be still and just take stock. So this really gave me that opportunity. I called it my time out 
because I had so much time on my hands and all I could do was just learn about myself. We are human beings, not human doings. So we do really need to be and be in touch. And when you're in touch with yourself, you really learn tremendous things. That's so important. And I hope that's what you get from this message tonight. So I was lucky. I, I actually did have surgery in 2000, in June 2000. That was six months after. And it got me back on my feet. And the only thing I found was, even though the mechanics of my back was fine and was fixed, I was just so drained of energy, I couldn't function. And in 2002, I was introduced to Juice Plus, which really gave me back my health and also allowed me to be the wife and the mother and all that I needed to be again. So I'm very, very grateful to the person who gave me that information and I'm also very grateful to have found Juice Plus because it is a wonderful, wonderful whole food, organic food, 26 fruit, vegetables and berries. Really, really delighted that I found that. It is not a quick fix, but it is a long-term solution. So I'm very grateful for that. I'm also very grateful that I was also introduced in December 2006. That's where I started my heart art journey. And it's the, the combination of those two are really profound markers in my recovery, my physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual well-being. I call it my magic combination. The two together is a wonderful combination. It gave me my brain-body harmony. It gave me back my life. And I'd like to share a bit of that with you. So do not adjust your sets. It is out of focus. So that's just me at work. And when I look at some of the paintings that I've done, I can really connect with how I was feeling at that time, what each painting meant to me. Sorry about the quality, but I'll get better in time on quality. So what Heart Arts did, it really helped me to delve deep into my subconscious mind. And that was so wonderful because I found it difficult to go within. As I said, I found it difficult to be still and to stop and just take stock. But this is what heart art helped me to go right down into my deep subconscious mind. It also helped me to eliminate the pain I was holding in my emotional and mental body, which in turn affects and affected my physical body at that time. And when we are emotionally and mentally upset about something, I mean, even if you think about that now, if you think of somebody or something that upsets you, you can actually feel that. Your, your physical body starts to change because you can still feel the hurt within yourself. And if that's happening, that hurt needs to heal because when it doesn't heal, you suppress it. And when you suppress it, eventually, it, it does get into the tissues in your body and it brings about an illness. And that's what we want to stay clear of. What you want is you want a harmonious balance because that's what heart art gave me. This balance which was deep within the core of my being. Now I really sincerely mean that. It helped me to go that deep and it helped me to heal at a very, very deep level. Again, bringing about this brain-body harmony I talk about. This is another painting. Again, out of focus. Do not adjust your sets. Um, and this was a very special one to me. I still remember the feeling it gave me as I painted. It was just a wonderful feeling. It was a time in my life that was so special and it meant it touched a string in my body and it really lifted me forward and up and out of a very dark place. Again, sorry about the quality. So what is heart art? It's painting from the subconscious. You're just painting and you're just allowing the paint to mix on the, on the page and you do not know what you're going to be presented with. For me, it's been a wonderful journey. It, you know, it really helps to get you in touch with your inner thoughts and that allows you to express what you're really, really feeling. And that's what I was saying to you about your thoughts. You know, your thoughts can either enable you or disable you. And when you can get in touch with what you're really feeling, 
as I said, when you think of something that is hurtful, you feel that in your body. But equally, when you think of something that's so amazing and happy, you also feel that in your body, but it's a different feeling. It's a wonderful, uplifting feeling. 